Hey guys, it's Lindsay, AKA The Allergy Queen. Today I wanna do Battle of the Brands for foundation and kind of talk about, I have some that I um, really hate and then um, two that I absolutely love. Well, mm, well, two that I love and one that's that's really, really good but kind of expensive. Um, so let's just get right into it. The first foundation that I, I don't recommend this guy, this is the Koki HD Skin Perfect Foundation. It is $12.98. Uh, I picked it up at Walmart. And originally I actually liked this one. It is a light to medium coverage foundation. But the more I used it, the more it made my it dried out my skin and then it clung to those dry patches and made them really stand out. And by the end of the day, it started to break apart and separate. And um, I just, no, I just did not like that one. So that one for me is a hard pass. Now I know that there have been a couple people that I saw on YouTube that liked this. Um, and maybe if you have more oily skin, it might work better uh, for somebody with more oily skin. Um, so that would be something to try, but for me with my really dry skin, it just made everything worse. So that one is a hard pass. I do not recommend it for dry skin. The next one is the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Compact. It's really kind of picking up the light there. Uh, this is $38. And the reason it's so far down on the list, it is a Cushing foundation and it's got medium to full coverage, but it's just meh. Like if I'm gonna pay $38 for a foundation, I want it to do more. It covered, but then um, again with this one, by the end of the day, it started to break apart. Uh, it did make me have bigger dry patches, like it made my dry patches bigger. And I think it's because this does have an SPF of 50, which is quite a lot, especially to put on the face. So I felt like it was really, really drying. So again, another one, if you've got really oily skin, this may work really well for you, but it did not work well for me because of that reason. Next foundation I'm gonna talk about is actually fairly new. Um, I've worn this a couple times, but I feel like with foundation, after a couple times, you can really tell whether or not you're going to like it and how it works on your skin. So I did wear this a couple times. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation. This has got an SPF of 15. And it... It's okay. I mean, it's got a nice, like, little cushiony in there. And you can get a pretty good medium coverage um, buildup on this. But again, I think just for me, cushion foundations just don't work well. Um, I just find them to be a little too drying for my skin. And this one actually really sunk into my lines and wrinkles. And I think it's just really the formula. Um, and it just really like accentuated my lines and wrinkles rather than trying to cover them up and hide them uh, like we all want. Um, I did try a couple different primers underneath to see if maybe that would help and nothing really helped as far as that went so I kind of feel like that was the foundation and not the, the primer. Um, so again if you've got like perfect baby smooth skin this might work really well for you, um, but for those of us who are a little older and have, you know, a little bit of crow's feet and a little bit of, you know, worry wrinkles on our forehead, it just really sunk in, um, so I don't recommend this one either. Uh, I promise I'll get to ones I like, um, which this next one actually, uh, I really, really liked, except Again, I couldn't put it on any dry patches on my skin. Um, maybe I should try this with the uh, primerizer. I haven't done that, maybe I will do that. Um, this is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Illumination Cream. Um, 
it's supposed to be CC cream, but this really works like a foundation. This has got really good medium to full coverage. Um, and this did not sink into my lines or wrinkles, but again, it's got the SPF of 50, which really dehydrated my skin and really made my dry patches just pop. Um, but maybe I'll try it with a primerizer and maybe that will, um, actually help. Uh, I will try that and then give you guys an update on that. Um, I'm not going to get rid of that one because again I really do like it as far as especially full coverage. That one is really good. That one is $38 also, um, but that one I feel like is worth the $38. Bucks. Um, especially again people with more oily skin, this will probably work better with the high SPF because it's more drying. Um, but this one's really, really good. I really liked this one. It's just further down on the list because it did act, uh, accentuate my dry patches. All right, so our middle of the road foundation. This is the Buxom Show Some Skin Weightless Foundation. It's this little guy here. It is $34 and it's got um, light to medium coverage, um, which you can, this one you can build up to like a good solid medium coverage. Um, without having any, you know, patchy issues or clingy issues. Um, and it's got an SPF of 30. So this one with the lower SPF did tend to not make as much dry patches. Um, I still had a little bit of drying, but not as bad as like the higher SPF uh, foundations. And this one sunk into my lines and wrinkles a little bit but not as bad as the Cushing foundations. Um, so that's why it kind of meets middle of the road here. Um, not bad um, and really pretty good for all skin types. Um, I, I think if you have oily skin, I think this will still be okay as well. Um, yeah, so that's this guy here. All right, my number three foundation is the Lancome Re Regenerate? Regenerate? Lift Makeup. I'm totally butchering this. Anyway, it's this guy here. Um, and I actually went to the Lancome counter to get matched um, when I was having more problems with dryer patches and you know my makeup, my foundation breaking apart. Um, and I was having a really hard time finding a good foundation that would hold together all day long and not dry me out and this one when I found this one was a godsend this guy was a godsend I finally found something that didn't dry me out it wore all day and it barely sunk into any lines or wrinkles so the only reason this one is number three is because this one is $47 so I, I like to use this one sparingly now that I have a couple others that I like um, on, you know, if my husband and I go out for date nights or something like that, I try to use it for special occasions just because of the price. Um, and that's kind of why it's number three on my list. But this, if you have the money to splurge, this one is fantastic. I love this foundation. Okay, so number two on my list is the Remmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Breathable Longwear Foundation. Looks like this. Let's see if I can get that to pick up better. There we go. Um, this is newer at the drugstore. I've had this for a couple of weeks now. It just came out. Um, but again, I feel like if you use a foundation for, you know, three, four times, you're going to know whether or not you like this foundation or want to keep using it or whether you're like, you know what, this is a pass. This one is seven to eight dollars depending on where you pick it up. Um, I got this at Walgreens, but I'm sure you can pick it up at, you know, Walmart, CVS, other kinds of drugstore. Um, holy smokes, this formula is fantastic. Now, the only thing I find really, really funny with this is it's got this giant doe foot applicator um, and it is a little bit liquidy. 
It is, um, so it starts out as like a light to medium coverage, but you can build it up. It builds very nicely. Um, it doesn't cling to, you know, certain areas and it doesn't get patchy when you try to build it. It doesn't sit in my lines and wrinkles. It wore all day without breaking up. Um, it barely even faded on a, you know, 12 to 13 hour work day. So, especially for seven, eight bucks, this thing is fantastic. So that's why it gets to be number two on my list. It also has an SPF of 20. So again, more hydrating, less drying for me. Um, I really feel like even if you had uh, oilier skin, I feel like this one would be okay for even oily skin or, you know, combo skin. Um, just because of the formula. It just sits very nicely, blends in and melts into the skin rather than sitting on top of the skin. So I feel, I feel like that's where it would be okay for, you know, combo or oily skin as well. All right, the number one on my list was actually recommended um, by Jessica Braum on here, here on YouTube, B-A-U-M, Braum. She's Jam Beauty 89, shout out to her. Um, this is the number seven Lift and Illuminate Foundation. This guy here, $15.99. And oh my goodness, um, it is hypoallergenic. It's got an SPF of 15. Again, the lower the SPF, the better it seems to be for my skin personally, with still a little bit of sun coverage because I'm kind of a vampire and I don't really like to go out in the sun during the day, so I don't really need a high SPF anyway. Um, this one, again, it melts into the skin. It just blends beautifully. It starts out as a good medium coverage. I hesitate saying that because I want to say maybe light to medium at the beginning, but no, I, I feel like it's more of a medium coverage, just kind of out of the gate. Um, it Again, it lasts through my shift. It doesn't break apart. It doesn't give me dry patches. It doesn't sink into my lines and wrinkles. I don't have anything bad to say about this one, um, which the number seven line, I'm, I'm starting to kind of um, pick up a couple more things from it and I'm trying them out and I haven't found anything bad from them yet so if they're if you're out there looking for something new to try the number seven line is really really good um, as far as everything that I have tried so far okay <laughs> I think that that is it for today um, if you have a favorite foundation out there, let me know. Leave it down in the comments so that I have something new that I can try. And I love you all. I hope you subscribe and give my video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye.